Indigo Souls, Starsy Live, Namaste, brothers and sisters, how you all doing? My name is Emily, I am a Starsy coach and a channel for universal healing, one love, healing myself, learning how to do it and then helping others, <laughs> like we all are, right? Anyway, I just wanted to talk to you very, very quickly, boys and girls, because I'm actually at work in the garden and uh, just before I start to do my care job. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just want to um, have a little conversation with you very quickly. Um, basically, I want to talk to you about um, my, uh, about, sorry, I, right, bleh, bleh. <laughs> let's start again. Recently, when we went to the You're More Than Just a Body event in Peterborough at the Ball Hotel, and I believe it's happening again on September, so try and check it out it's on facebook you'll find it on there um basically i went to see a lady i believe her name is allison and she did an astro astrological chart reading for me um can you just bear with me the camera looks a little smudged i'm just going to cleanse the lens Ooh. hopefully yeah that's better there you go right so as i was saying allison did an astrological chart reading for me and uh, it wasn't apparent until I had the reading how much that it actually affects you. And here in the West, we tend to only know of a, what is called a star sign. However, I'm sure this is meant to be, because uh, basically we have these signs. We have a rising sign, a star or a sun sign, and a moon sign. I think it's actually a sun sign. I'm not sure why it's called star signs over here. I think it's could be a sun so I'm not 100% sure however <laughs> you get what I'm saying right you know the little signs we used to read in magazines growing up we'd read our uh, our destiny <laughs> how gullible we were anyway the point is I'm a Taurus uh, is my, in as much as my star slash sun slash western sign um, however I've just found out in right my rising sign is Scorpio and my moon sign is Sagittarius Terrius, I believe. I'm gonna have to double check that. But and I've only just found. Take this key. Take this key to unlock your soul. To unlock the ancient DNA within you. <laughs> I've only just found out how much these other signs actually affect you. Um, now. <sighs> I have my Kashuk records read and it all ties in because part of the records said that I, in this lifetime alone, am learning 10 major life lessons. And that is a lot of lessons. That is a hell of a lot of lessons. In fact, the lady who gave me the reading, who, if you want to contact me, I can pass you on to her. She's fantastic and I recommend her to anybody. Um, this lady basically said that that is quite a lot, you know. Uh, she hadn't heard of it that often, I believe. Or... Yeah, I think that was what she said. Um, but the point is, guys and girls, uh, Scorpio rising, my Scorpion rising, my rising sign, loves to go through problems over and over and over and over and challenges over and over and experiences over and over again to try all different ways of uh, getting out of them. So then we can go and teach others how to get out of them so-called predicaments. Um, and it just... It just made so much sense. It really, really opened my eyes and uh, to how much the planets in alignment and their effect on our being. And if you have an astrological chart done, like I said, uh, send me your, um, ask me if you want the details and I'll send you the ladies, ladies details. But uh, if you want this done, I recommend everyone to have it done because until I read about my rising sign, um, I, I really didn't have much idea about, well, I knew who, don't get me wrong, I know who I am through and through, I know who I am, but I didn't have an idea of how much it affects. Not only did I not know there was a rising sign and a moon sign, but I didn't know that it affected your life as much as it does the planets when exactly when you were born. Um, and it makes sense, actually, because obviously... The planets every day, they affect us, don't they? The Earth, you know, Mercury's in retrograde, things break down and things, you know, you're just meant to sit back and take time out. And there's so cry, cry on recently, um, all the emotions and past memories coming up, releasing and planet crying. There's just so, so many different planets and the way they affect you is just, 
incredible. Um, oh, if you'd like to know a bit more about the daily effects of planetary and cosmic awareness, um, a lady on Facebook called Andrea, a gift from Gaia, she's actually really up to date on all of this stuff and she does fantastic posts every day. Um, really, really awesome. So I suggest you check her site out as well on Facebook. And um, yeah, I mean, she always explains um, how the planets and how everything is happening, how it affects you and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I mean, uh, being a star seed, I'm one of these beings. I've always looked to the sky. I've always cried to, to the moon. I've always told the, the sky, the stars, my pain, my tears, you know, I sat hours as a child. I used to sit and cry to the moon and look up at the sky for nights on end. Um, that was pretty much my best friend when I was a child, but yeah, uh, pfft. it's just incredible guys how it all affects you and you really are a whole being, this is my whole point, you are a whole being, the totality of your being, I mean you're a multi-dimensional being, you're a co-creator, you're a magician, you're a wizard, you're a witch, whatever you want to call it. You're an alchemist, you're a master for goodness sake. You, you have conquered all of this and you have come from the future to do it all again, you know? It's, wow. <laughs> oh, another thing as well that I find fascinating, the fact that the, the past, the present and the future there is no past, present and future. There is only one timeline and that is the present moment right now and right now. Two minutes ago never happened. Two minutes forward never happened. There's only this moment in time. And the time, the clock time in the spirit world, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. There is no 24 hours in a day in spirit realm. It's, you know, time is, well, it's just time. It, there is no time. You know, there is no time. So that's why things like prayers and, you know, other things take time to manifest sometimes because in the spirit realm, they don't have a conscious uh, requisite of time. So it's not like they're sitting there and saying, oh, it's been one day, it's been a week, it's been a month, it's been a year. Let's now bless her with, <laughs> you know, what her prayer. No, it doesn't work that way. They don't go like that. I'm not sure how they go, but I know they don't follow a clock like we do. And in fact, it's been proven by scientists now. Go on, buddy. Sorry, a little bean on my arm. Go on. It's been proven by scientists um, that actually setting an alarm clock for you in the morning is a terrible thing to do because subconsciously it doesn't let you sleep and then you have broken sleep. So it's really, really dangerous to actually uh, go by that kind of thing. But I found out if you just work hard all day, get what you need done, go to bed, do your meditation, your solitude, your rest, your prayers, your blah, blah, blah. And I find that I naturally go to bed at the same time, about half 11 every evening. I don't look at the clock, I just know. My body knows it's bedtime, it's sleep time. And I wake up about seven, half seven every day. So it all depends. I mean, if I have Reiki, if I receive Reiki, I always sleep longer. Um, and I was sent Reiki last night by uh, Moira, I believe. So thank you, Moira from Soul Tribe. I'm very grateful for that. I was very relaxed and I actually slept till like nine, half nine. So it really worked well with me. That's how I know if Reiki works with me because I sleep fantastically that night. The healing is just immense. So yeah, uh, just, you know, it's a glorious day. The sun is shining and I'm very, very happy I am. I'm very, very content I am. And, uh, I just wanted to share that little bit of knowledge with you guys and girls. I feel it's imperative for you guys to start approaching yourselves as the multidimensional beings, co-creators that you are, masters that you are, and not as just a human in a body, one life, I die, that's it. No, 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 sweet dear one. No, no, no. You are so much more. You have 11 solar extensions. What, me, what that means is your being, you, who I'm talking with, your being is living 11 different lives in different dimensions, in different galaxies, in the same time right now that you are living. So me, me, the I, the awareness, the consciousness, not the Emily ego human, but the awareness Emily, not, not Emily, sorry, the awareness is living 11, 10 other different lives 
And plus, one last thing, or maybe a couple more things. When you are created, God created you and split you into two beings. Now, no, sorry, split you into 12 parts. 11 of your souls, are, like I just said, are living different lives right now throughout this universe at the same time you are. So you can really experience life and learn. And you have one other part of your soul, the other half of your soul in masculine or feminine quality. Whoever you are, you have a twin flame somewhere out there. And that twin flame is literally the other half of your soul in masculine and feminine qualities. When God created us, he didn't take, like the Bible says, he took the rib from Adam and made Eve. No, 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 no. God took the man from the woman, the womb and womb and woman, the womb. God took the woman, the man from the woman and created twin flame. And then obviously the other soul extensions. So in technicality, the great goddess, mother earth in the physical sense or in the spiritual sense, the mother God, the great goddess, she was the original religion. She was the original spirituality long before they created a father God and the world became a suppressed male supremacy. So that's just another thing, ladies. Remember how powerful you are. Remember your feminine, divine beauty. Remember that you are a goddess within. Remember, in your DNA, this is why I was showing you this key earlier. This is an ancient Egyptian symbol. This key Key is called the Ankh and the Ankh represents two things or maybe a few more actually but two main things I want to point out to you the first is this is the key to unlock the ancient God goddess genetics within your being that's the first representation of the Ankh and there's another one I really love and that's immortality it symbolizes, oh, sandalwood. That's lovely, mum. <laughs> this smells, my mum just lit a sandalwood. She's got to give a reading soon. Whoop, whoop. So, yeah. Huh? Oh, that's all right, mum. I can smell it. Thank you. Yeah, um, just hello, cell type. Hello. Here's mama. Hello, Elizabeth from Living the Light. Have a good weekend. How, how are you doing today, our medium, lovely lady? Yeah, I'm just preparing myself to hopefully give a lovely reading lovely Helen. Yay! Um, hopefully Spirit will connect with me and we'll do our best. Oh, they will. They always do. But, I mean, have, everyone have a lovely with her. Is it the moon? moon the full moon, moon. Full moon. So everybody enjoy the weekend. Yeah. Crystals out. Uh, and uh, Bev, Clive, Nick and Charlene have a fantastic time at Stonehenge. And if you can, please bring us a piece of rock back. <laughs> Take care all of you and safe journeys there and back. Um, Nick, Charlene. Bev and Clive. Love you all. We love you so much, everyone. So anyway, my brothers and sisters, that's my mum, as you know, Elizabeth the Medium from the page Live in the Light on Facebook. If you would like a reading in exchange for a review, just pop onto my mum's po uh, page and under one any of her posts on there, just type your name and a lovely little comment. And uh, my mum will it, um, eventually, when she she's ready, she'll choose who's going to have the message. And all we ask in exchange is a wonderful review, please. An honest review, but, uh, uh, you know, as kind as you can be. <laughs> no, but my mum is fantastic. She's very gifted. She has been all her life. And she's now doing it, like, professionally. She started doing it. When I say, well, how do I say, like, you know how I do, guys. I do my readings on Facebook in exchange for review. Well, that's how we all start in this business. We start doing it free for reviews. If you ever want to try this out, this is the best advice I can give you. Offer free readings in exchange for reviews. Okay, build up the review base, and then you can start to charge for your readings. However, before you start charging, I suggest you get certified and you make sure you're damn professional <laughs> because honestly, uh, and also get insurance because when you work with the public, it's public liability and believe me, the public will try and not all of them, but there is many out there who will try and get a buck for nothing, if that makes any sense. And they can mess you around it. But then again, you have wonderful clients. I've been blessed with some amazing, amazing beings that I've, I've had the honor of giving readings, psychic tarot readings to. 
and uh, it blows my mind every time I do a reading because I tune into their photo to connect to their vibration as an empath and then I just do I pull their cards obviously I talk to my guides their guides my higher self I pull their cards and then I type them up and send them the reading but for the first time ever the other day spirit came through no well actually spirit has come through before for a person when i was doing a reading but this was so much clearer i typed like three paragraphs extra just from spirit without the cards plus the cards and from the research i've done i am still the cheapest one on the whole of facebook even though you know my services are fantastic are professional and are certified to the best of my ability and you know i'm working on insurance and all the other stuff you need um i'm still uh, i'm still the cheapest one there is guys um and i'm actually quite shocked at some of the prices people charge spiritual people charge I'm not saying don't don't charge your worth because you know i know everything is energy is energy and spiritual work is hard it drains you i know that i'm aware of that all i'm saying guys and girls is one of the 42 laws of Ma'at, the mother goddess, the Egyptian goddess and father to off, is never take more than you need. So basically, don't be greedy. Like, yes, ask for a, a fair amount in return, but don't take more than you need. Because there is a whole, you know, not that there isn't enough abundance for the whole universe, because the abundance is eternal. There's, there's enough abundance, but unfortunately it's controlled in a way that only certain people can attain that abundance um through the government but when you connect yourself to god and live as a conscious co-creator your abundance flows naturally to you and you're open to receive it gratefully and with that abundance with every blessing you receive this is what i do i always pass that blessing on always 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 pass that blessing on because like my mum said the other day something as little as a smile can travel the world in a second boom there you go brothers and sisters that's some beautiful advice for this day I would just like to, for this day, I intend now to invoke some archangels into our presence, our atmosphere, and into all of our beings. I'm just going to ask that the Archangel Michael comes and protects me and my mum and the house throughout this reading, and my house and my garden, and all, well, not mine, I don't own them, they're not literally mine, Mother Earth is materials. However, where I stay, please, Michael, protect us all today. I'm going to ask the beautiful Archangel Shamuel to surround me and my mum with unconditional love. And anyone who's watching this video gives permission. These Archangels are also being invoked for you as well for this day. And we ask the beautiful, my one of my main guys, Metatron, to inspire, create and motivate us in a, in a creative way. And we also ask that... Shamua. We also ask that the beautiful Raphael surrounds us all with healing, emerald green energy to whichever part of us requires healing the most throughout this day. And we also ask that the beautiful Archangel Uriel brings through all divine wisdom that is necessary for us throughout this day. We intend together here and now to be connected throughout this day to our higher selves, to our guides to all spirit that is around us and to all the love in this universe and we are open fully for a guidance abundance and joy and so it is thank you brothers and sisters thank you so much for joining me on this random morning video of uh, beautiful advice beautiful invocation of the archangels and uh, yeah lots of random different facts there for you um I felt very strongly to channel this so thank you so so much for allowing me and as always i love you all so much i am here in service for you all and for love and for myself of course and uh yes and have a wonderful wonderful weekend whatever it is you're doing many many angel blessings unicorn blessings and fairy blessings heck we'll just make it cosmic blessings guys <laughs> indigo souls star city live enjoy your weekend bye